Hey guys, so I wanted to do a very quick speed comparison here between uh, Note 8 and the S8 Plus. Uh, so these are very similar handsets really in terms of the uh, what they bring to the table. I wanted to see if the S8 Plus can still keep up here with the latest uh, Samsung. Both running the stock official ROM, fully up to date in terms of the updates. And we have also optimized each device, like cleared out the trash and, you know, given them a good seem to so I think you can see the Note 8 does boot on a little bit faster here uh, which I was actually quite surprised to see because we are running Exynos 8895 both of them so the latest uh, processor here uh, so you can see we have uh, optimized the phones and we're just going to I think they're on full HD mode as well so let's have a look see if there's any difference here I think a lot of people are probably going to stick with their S8 this year because we can't see too much difference and so far I can see, you know, the Note 8 is that little bit snappier, I think. But it's quite hard to tell, you know, it's uh, not the huge step that I think many people were looking for. But it's a step up, nevertheless. And it might be a little bit more future-proof because of the additional RAM. Uh, but it's still, I think, uh, held back a little bit with some animation kind of lags. And someone might say, you know, why don't you just disable the animation? Well, you want to see the uh, animation at the end of the day because that's what we put into it. I mean, Apple can do animation without any lags, so I think other manufacturers should be able to do it. Uh, but you can see here, in terms of the game, a little bit snappier again on the left. If you're opening up maybe quite a few games, you might notice the extra difference here. One big thing I have noticed about the Note 8 is how good the display is compared to, well, it's a massive step up from the S8 Plus, much more than I was actually expecting. Uh, if I can find a kind of dark background, I can probably show you uh, how good it is. Like, I think it has like a HDR technology now, which you can also take advantage of using YouTube and Netflix, etc. It means that the dark areas are much darker and the actual screen is a lot brighter, I've noticed as well. So they've really done an excellent job in terms of display. I think uh, display mate said that it's among the best uh, displays you can get at the moment. And I would not disagree with that. S8 Plus is still a good display though in itself. You know, it's still coming with a fantastic uh, display. I think I think even the S8 Plus display is better than the LG V30 from what I've seen. Some uh, review was showing that the V30 has the same kind of issues as the old LG G Flex uh, displays, like with uh, poor kind of viewing in the low light, but we'll have to wait and see. And so far, you know, you can see here S8 Plus keeps up pretty much on everything. Let's have a look at the Wi-Fi performance, see if there's any differences here. Both from the same one. So better performance today from S8 Plus. Oh, that is a nice uh, improvement there. I wasn't expecting that. So you can see, you know, the Notate has some extra area here, maybe for better kind of reception. Let's just give the S8 another chance here. So yeah, quite conclusive here. Uh, you're going to get a nicer Wi-Fi setup, that's for sure. Uh, which you know is good for those who have very fast connections. At the end of the day, so look at the memory management. See if there's any difference here. I should probably should have opened about eight games. Uh, but you can see reload on the S8 straight away. So, oops, that was the uh, other one. <laughs> bit back to front here but you can see the notate uh, is definitely faster when it comes to the reloading the app which is a definite improvement here so maybe six gigs of ram is what samsung does need for all of its phones now going forward i think this is the first uh, six gig ram phone or maybe it was a there was a c series phone as well which had six gigs 
but it's like my first one here I think. Let's have a look at the games here. So you can see no contest, the uh, Note 8 is absolutely brilliant when it comes to the improvements on the uh, memory front. No need to go through them all. Uh, so, you know, if you're looking for a step up here in terms of your productivity, uh, that uh, is very satisfying because obviously this is like a business oriented phone. You will be using the uh, S Pen and, you know, jotting your notes off and stuff and multitasking, etc. Uh, it does come with a nice Wacom kind of technology here, uh, which you won't get with the S8 Plus, which is very unfortunate actually. Oh, it's still wet. <laughs> I'm wondering where the water was coming from then. Uh, you can see we still have uh, some wetness here. So if you do get it wet, you might want to, uh, you know, uh, air it out in the day. Uh, but yeah, solid step up here in terms of the Wi-Fi multitasking, actual apps opening. Meh, you know, not a massive step up. Might as well wait for the S9, uh, which is due, I think, in January. So yeah, hope you found this helpful for looking at these two, and I'll see you in the next one.